Hey guys, I'm Rob Robillard from Toolbox Buzz and ConqueredCarpenter.com and I've partnered with Milwaukee Tools Grid Apprentice Program to share with you one of my favorite tricks of the trade that I picked up along the years. I really like this trick a lot and I hope that you like it as well. Now if you're an apprentice and you want to learn more tips and tricks like this, click the link in the video description below. It's going to take you to the Grid website. It's free to sign up and you'll have access to exclusive promotions, really great contests, and the best part, you'll have the ability to network with other apprentices from across the country. Also, while you're there, make sure that you check out some of the best industry articles and videos to just help you kickstart your career. Now, as a carpenter, I often find myself installing things after the fact, ceiling, walls, floors up, installed, this tip involves using an insulation support rod and a, as a probe and a cordless drill. The tip is useful if you find yourself needing to drill through a wall, a ceiling, or, or anywhere that you can't see where you're drilling into. You can't see the other side. Maybe there's a wall there. I've learned this tip from an HVAC, um, HVAC installer, and they use the, the, the probe to locate ceiling and floor vents. I use this tip all the time for laying out items as well, all kinds of things. The rods are about, I don't know, 16 inches long and they're perfect for passing through floor cavities. So the main reason I like it, it also saves considerable amount of time later on. What I mean by that is from patching exploratory holes that we used to have to cut in walls and ceilings to see what's, what's, you know, what's there. And that's because the probe allows you to just go right through the assembly without causing a lot of damage. The best part is that the hole created by this very small probe can be easily filled with a little bit of spackle or not filled at all. So here's what I do. After measuring and laying out and figuring out my center or whatever I need for my installation, I chuck an insulation support rod into my cordless drill. Using my support hand to hold the rod right around the center of the rod in the drill, I just slowly turn the drill on slowly and I'll send the rod through the plaster or an attic floor ceiling or whatever, boards. You gotta use care when doing this tip though, guys, because the rod will go through copper or plastic pipes or even wires. So you have to think about that and it's a risk. You gotta check for hazards first. You gotta drill slowly, have someone watch for the rod on the other end and look for clues like outlets and things that might tip you off. Once you put the rod through, leave it in place so you can find it on the other side and, and uh, lay your measurements off from it. Um, look, I hope you enjoyed this trick. If it's a first time seeing it, toss a couple insulation rods in your drill box and store this tip up in your mental toolbox. It might help and who knows, maybe it'll, uh, it'll pay for itself someday. Um, I'm all about solving problems and this is a problem solver. So just have a couple in your toolbox. So next time we get together, I'm gonna to talk about coping molding. I'm gonna talk about my tips, 10 tips for doing trim work, as, as well as my recipe for continued education for learning as a journeyman carpenter. Until next time, remember to develop a passion for learning, and if you do, you will never stop growing. Stay well, keep learning.